Well, hello there, YouTubers, and welcome to another Cool Dude Clem uh, video. Okay, I'm not going to do the video in that silly voice. Anyway, got another package from another video. This one is from Ian Clay to Cool Dude Clem. That's me. So, let's take a little look at what's inside. Anyway, found me old trusty pocket knife. Not like the one Dave has on the EV block, but it'll get the job done. So, where should we start cutting this thing open? I think from the side here, I think that'll be a pretty good idea. I know what one of the things in here is. Oh, I have a vague idea. He said something about a Sony radio that wasn't working all that well, so we'll have a look at that. And what else we got in here? Okay. Oh, wow. Oh, hey, there's a message in here. Thank you for all your animations and videos on electronics. Best wishes, Ian. Oh, thank you. Yeah, there'll certainly be more of those coming. Okay, well, what we got in here? We have... Breadboard, actually, I've been meaning to get one of these, so that's good. That's nice. A resistor, and uh, not exactly sure what that's all about. One resistor and a little plastic bag. Anything in here? No, I think that's just for packaging. And this is the radio he's talking about. We'll have a listen to this later on. This looks like a very nice radio, actually. Yeah, it looks like the spat's been taken off. Uh, let's just see. Yeah, I've still got a couple of screws in there. Battery cover, I don't know how that got there, but still, let's see what we're going in here. Some nice little boxes to store my electronics in. I've got some resistors, nothing in that one. More resistors and a battery clip and diodes. What we got in here? More resistors. Let's have a look at this one. More resistors. Can never have too much resistors. Ah, could this be that little jewel thief he was talking to me about? I think so. Yep, the little micro jewel thief thing. Um, capacitors. What we got in here? Oh, ferrites. Various ferrites. Any transistors in here? I don't think so, but I've got plenty of those anyway. And even a speaker. I don't know what that was from. Who knows? I think there are a few little transistors in here. Let's see what we've got. Oh, yeah, I can see something there. So, anyway, thank you, Ian, for sending me this stuff. Anyway, let's take a little brief overview of this radio and see what the deal is. All right, then, let's take a look at this radio. Didn't really get a very good close look at it from the unboxing, so, uh... Yeah, we've got all the things at the front there. There's a couple of switches at the back. We've got... Scan Auto Stop. I guess that means it stops when it finds a station. And Range Selecting. Well, Gain Selecting, should I say. Or distant or near stations and inputs and outputs. 
We've got earphone. Looks like tape. Looks like some kind of a clock. I don't know what that could be. Power jack and two battery compartments. Anyway, this doesn't have any batteries in it at the moment, so what I've done is I'm going to power this up from my power supply. Made sure I've got the voltage and polarity set right, so I don't damage anything. Now, I'm not exactly sure what the problem is that this has, but I'll just plug that in there and turn it on, and we'll see what happens. Make sure, I Make sure the volume's on, though, so it doesn't come on screaming loud. Okay, I can hear some buzz from something. I think that might be my power supply's transformer. Yeah, my transformer from my power supply is interfering with it. That's a bit of a... I think that, um... Okay, I don't see anything on the display. This is just going to be an overview, not an actual fix video just to see what kind of stuff happens. Does that do anything? Oops. That's not going to do it much good, is it? Okay, I can hear a slight thing from the speaker there. I'm not seeing anything on the display. hearing any hiss or anything, so yeah, this definitely has some problems. Looks like we got something for the next Call Dude Clems Electronic Workshops video. And um, I'll call it a day for this video, and then in the next video we'll be taking a look inside this, see what the problem can be, and hopefully make it work again. Anyway, that's just about it for this video. Because i got to get this all edited now and uploaded onto YouTube. Anyway, I've got a few other bits and pieces that I really want to get off my hard drive, so I'm just going to throw them in as bonus content. Right. Okay. Oh, I better just turn the amplifier off because it's feeding back like crazy. <laughs> I'm sure you don't want to hear all this noise in the background from the speakers. Okay, I'm just testing that it's recording from this microphone. Okay, testing again, because we're having extreme problems here with both the microphone and the sound. I mean, and the camera. Is the camera working this time? Yes. Um, and is the microphone actually working? That's the next thing. This microphone, is it picking up from this microphone? And is it picking up the sound good? Oh dear, Paul Clement. He's having a few problems. For some reason, even though I have the camera pointed right at the thing, it's seeing me instead of what I've got on the desk, and I don't even know if it's even recording. I'm just going to tap this microphone. So let's see what we've got. Computer's back on the big screen now. 
I don't know whose dog that is barking out there. Shut up! The link to the actual download page is right here. Okay, stop recording. Um, stop recording. Hello, it's Cool Dude Clem here. Now, some of you might be a bit concerned about my channel icon because it's a picture that I drew of myself with my arm around Tails. Some of you might think I'm a furry. Some of you think I'm in love with Tails. Well, I'm here to tell you that none of that is true. Tails and I are just really good friends. I just uploaded that picture to my Google Plus account, little realising that it would change my YouTube icon as well, and, well, I've just decided to stick with it. But you know something? He's actually here in my room right now, so we're going to go over to Tails to see what he has to say. Clem and I are really good friends because we have so much in common. You know, we both smart, we both like fixing and making stuff, and we both like playing games. And that's not really gay. Um, it's not like we kiss and make out or anything, though he does hug me sometimes. But, you know something? Everybody I've met has hugged me or wanted to hug me on the count of I'm just so cute. So now you know. Anyway, that just about wraps it up for this video. And until next time, goodbye. Hey.